Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a number puzzle. It says a company employee generates a series of six digit product codes in accordance with the following rules. The codes use the digits 0 to 5 and these digits are counted from the left end. Okay, so you, we are given second digit, fourth digit, that means from the left end. Each digit occurs exactly once. The second digit has a value twice that of the first digit. Okay, so if the first digit is x, second digit will be 2x. The value of the third digit is less than the value of the fifth digit. So third digit is less than the fifth digit and the fourth digit is an odd number. These are the conditions and we may have multiple digits, multiple product codes made out of these digits. Okay. Now in such questions, no need to make all the digits, uh, do not make all the codes, look at the questions and then answer it. Okay. Although there may, won't be too many cases because uh, for the first and second digit, the second digit has a value twice. So it could be one and two and it could be two and four, two possibilities. Now we have four digits left. Okay. Third digit is less than the value of fifth, fourth digit and odd number. So we will have some combinations, maybe uh, uh, like 10, 15, 20 combinations. No need to note all these combinations. Let us look at the questions and answer them. What is the smallest number that can be used as an acceptable product code? So whenever we have to make the smallest number, the left digit, leftmost digit should be the smallest possible. This should be as small as possible. Then next smallest, next smallest and so on. This should be the largest. So if you have to make a smallest number, this should try to put it as the smallest possible as per the constraints. You should not put zero. Okay. So we will take one and two because these are the smallest digits available for the first two places. Okay. Now we have that third digit is less than the fifth digit. So we will try to put the smallest value here that is zero. Okay. Now uh, we are left with three digits. One, two, zero are filled. Uh, three, four and five are left. Okay. Now it says that uh, the third digit is less than the fifth digit. Okay. So it will be automatically less than fifth digit. So fourth digit should be an odd number. So we will put the odd digit that is three. And then we can put 4 and 5. So this is the smallest number that we can make from these 6 digits. What is the biggest number that can be used as an acceptable product code? Now biggest number does not mean that we start with 5. Okay, We have to follow these conditions as well. So if you have to make the biggest number, we will choose this condition that 2 and 4. So these two digits should be 2 and 4. Now. It is given that the third digit is less than the fifth digit. So we cannot put five here because if we put five here, okay, if you think that, okay, this is the largest, this is the smallest possible. If we put five here, then five cannot be less than this. So we will think of the next digit, right? So four, we can put three here. If we put three, we can put five here. We have to put five because, uh, like 3 is less than 4 and 5, right? So only possibility is 3 and 5. Then this has to be odd, which is 1. And last digit will be 0. So this is the, the largest number that we can form using these 6 digits. Okay, next question says, if the last digit is 1, which of the following must be true? Okay, so last digit is 1, that means the first two digits have to be 2 and 4. So we will have three digits in between and one is the last digit. Okay, now let us try to make cases and see the options. So 2, 4 and 1 are placed. We have to place 0, 3 and 5. Okay, now this digit is less than this digit. Okay, and this has to be an odd digit. So let us say if we put zero, if we put odd digit three here, then it has to be zero and five. Okay. If we put the odd digit five here, then it has to be zero and three. So these are the two cases that we will get if we have one as the last digit. Now 
let us look at the options. The first digit is greater than the fifth digit. First digit greater than fifth digit false. Second digit is smaller than the fifth digit. Second digit, fifth digit. Uh, in one case it is smaller. In second case it is not. So we cannot say that it is definitely true. The third digit is zero, which is definitely true in both the scenarios. Fourth digit is three, not necessary. So this is our answer. Which one of the following must be true about any acceptable product code? Okay. Now, as I said that in this case, we might get multiple codes. Okay. Uh, we will uh, be able to make a good number of in definitely in double digits, the count will be in double digits. So we need not make all the codes. What we will do is we will negate options. So it says must be true. Okay. So we will try to negate others. We will try to prove others false. If a statement comes out to be false, then that will not be our answer. Okay. So let us see the first option. It says the digit one cannot appear in the fifth position. So let us try to make option A false. That one cannot appear in the fifth position. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let us put one here. So automatically two and four will be here. Okay. Now this digit should be less than one. So we will put zero here. Now we can have any two digits like three or five in any order. Right? So this we have proved it wrong. So this cannot be true. The digit one always appears in some position before the digit three. Okay. Now it has come after the digit three. Okay. So that also has proved false in this case. Okay, and um, the digit zero appears in some position after the digit four. Okay, so we will try to prove it false. Now in this in this case we have seen that zero has come after four. Zero appears after four, but we have to try to prove it false. If we cannot prove it false, then only we will pick it as the answer. So this was considering that if we start with two and four, what if we start a number with 1 and 2. Okay. So we have to prove that 0 should not come after 4, right? Or 0 should come before 4. So let us put 0 here. Let us put 4 here. We can have a possible variant like this, right? 0 comes before 4. This is an odd number and done. So this is also not possible. Now, in a question, if you have removed three options, the fourth option should be the answer. Isn't it by uh, common sense? Now let us try to find out that whether how it is correct. It says the digit three can appear in the third, fourth, fifth, or sixth positions. Okay, we have to prove that it is true. So we have seen that these are the first two positions. Obviously, three cannot come on these two because it is either one, two, or two, four. So we have to say that it is third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. We need to show that 3 can come in any of these positions. So it has come in the 4th position in this case. In this case, it is in the 6th position. So let us make two cases. One with 3 in the 3rd position. Okay. 3 in the 3rd position means this digit should be higher. Okay. And uh, let us say if we put 5 here. Okay. This has to be odd. No, we cannot put this. Uh -huh, we can put this like 2, 4, 3, 1, 5, 0. Like odd digit, higher digit and uh, 2, 4. So third place also we can have 3. Let us try to put 3 in this position and see that if this number is possible. Okay. So if we put here, we can put any small number here. Let us put 1 here. Let us put 2 and 4. Just taking one of the cases. Odd number and the last digit. So we can possibly have three at fifth position as well. So the digit three can appear in third, fourth, fifth or sixth positions. How many product codes are acceptable such that the third digit of a product code is not zero? Okay. So we have to limit our constraint to not zero. Okay. So let us start with the first two digits taking as one and two. Now this digit is not zero given. This digit cannot be zero because it is odd.
and this is greater than third digit so it cannot be zero so this has to be the digit which is zero okay so if it is not the third digit it has to be the last digit now we will try to find out how many cases are possible so we are left with digits one two three four five so we have to put an odd digit so if you put three here we can have five and four okay and uh, we can also have one two four three five zero okay because this digit is less than this digit if we try to put five here which is not possible because five is not five is the highest of these digits so it cannot be less than any other digit so two cases here now we will think of cases when we start the number with two and four so if we put two and four we know that zero cannot come here cannot come here cannot come here because it is mentioned that it is not the third digit odd digit and uh, is this digit is greater than the third digit so zero automatically comes here now we have three positions to fill uh, we are left with digits one three five so we can put one three five okay again we will take we can also take one five three odd digit and this is less than this and what if we not put one here if we put three here we can put one uh, one in this fourth position and we can have another number now we cannot put five here because five is the largest digit and cannot come in this position so we will have five such cases wherein the product code does not have the third digit as zero any of the following pairs could be the third and fourth digits respectively except now we have to tell which of the following cannot be the third and fourth digits now for fourth digits we know that it is an odd number now all options are odd okay now we have to show something which cannot be the third digit okay so 0 3 possible looks possible and in of the cases we have made third and fourth digit 0 3 so this is not the answer 1 5 third and fourth digit have we made somewhere yes we have made this also so that is not the answer 3 1 also we have made in one of the cases okay so if you if you can see from the cases that is fine but logically how can you answer this question is quite simple see this thing the third digit is less than the fifth digit if you put the third digit as 4 the fifth digit turns out to be 5 okay if you put 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if this is 4 this has to be 5 no other choice and this in that case cannot be 5 so 4 and 5 cannot be the third and fourth digits respectively so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions